Hello, Steve White, Steve Arts 89. Um, there's more Madonna cancellations. Um, this is not a shock, it's not a surprise. Um, considering her knee problems, um, it's not a surprise that it's going to affect other shows, although that's not the excuse they give, strangely enough. <clears throat> now, to start off with, um, the first two shows at um, the Grand Rex in um, Paris have been rescheduled. Um, they were they were planned to be the 18th and the 19th of February, and now they've moved, been moved to the end of the tour, um, the 10th and the 11th of March, because um, the, the original, I think the last date was the 8th of March. So now these two shows are now the last um, shows of the tour. And um, basically, if you have tickets for those shows, um, you know, basically they're good for the shows that have been rescheduled for. So they haven't been cancelled. They've been cancelled and then um, rescheduled. So um, whoever had tickets for them, they can just go to that show. If they can't go to that show, they can get a refund. But um, obviously it's very inconvenient. And this is just after um, they announced that um, the first show in London has been rescheduled. It was the 26th of January, which used to be my birthday. Um, <laughs> and is now um, on the February 16. Um, so there's a February 16 concert now instead. So again, the 26th of January has been cancelled and there's a February 16 concert instead. Now, um, the message from Live Nation um, says, with highly technical production elements, right, the first dates of Madonna's Madame X tour originally scheduled for the 16th of, sorry, the 18th and um, the 19th of February will be postponed to the 10th and the 11th of March, becoming the last dates of the series of performances at the Grand Rex in Paris. The performances scheduled for February 20, 22nd, 23rd, 25th, 26th, 27th, they got 27 twice, 29th, 1st, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 7th and 8th of March won't change. Um, and of course, tickets for those dates are transferable basically. So. I'm kind of shocked how many dates she's doing and how close a lot of them are. I think part of the problem is that they are putting them right next to each other and she's doing multiple shows in a row and she's not giving her knee time. But they don't use the knee as an excuse anyway. They are using highly technical production elements as the excuse this time. So that's strange because I thought they were going with the more sympathetic um, <laughs> knee issue. So, um, and the other one was even more interesting, the, um, the London one, they spend six lines of talking PR and then seven lines explaining that, um, the shows have been changed, um, the, the dates have been changed. And then there's a five word apology at the very, very end. It says, we apologize for any inconvenience and that's it. <laughs> they reschedule three shows. They cancel three and then reschedule three within days of each other and um, they spend more time talking PR about how Madonna's Madame X tour launches in Lisbon in 2020 after a stunning run in the US. Reviews for the intimate theatrical shows have been ecstatic and blah 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 blah. It's basically all PR. And they then go through how um, the tour relaunched in Lisbon but um, with the eight sold out shows through January 23rd. Um, and then proceeds to London, where as as a result of highly specialized production elements, so she's using highly specialized production elements again, when we know it can't be highly specialized production elements because the show has no production elements. It's got stairs and a projector and wigs. That's all the show is, um, and a bad knee. So why they're not just focusing on that, which people understand and are sympathetic to, Instead, they're going with the production again, um, which I don't believe. Now, the interesting thing about this is there's a bit of a conspiracy theory that she doesn't even have an injured knee. Now, as someone who lives with a knee injury, I got hit by a car a few years ago and um, I injured my knee and it's actually the same knee Madonna's having problems with. And I know how difficult that is and it's probably not the exact same thing. but it's so easy to aggravate and it's so easy to keep aggravating it because you just you can't not use your knee um 
and it's just so easy. I, I just have to forget what I'm doing and like run for a tram or something and then I'm in pain and I can't walk for the rest of the day. So um, I have sympathy for this knee problem. I have sympathy for this situation. I believe that she has a knee problem and I understand you just can't schedule around these things. They heal when they want to. So I, I really understand and I feel bad for Madonna. But it's very interesting that a lot of people don't believe she actually has a knee problem. They actually believe <clears throat> that she is just using this as an excuse because the shows aren't selling well enough and they have this idea that if she cancels like a show, then all the people will go and buy out the other shows. So the other shows will be fully sold and then they don't have to pay for um, putting on the show they cancelled. Now, I don't really think that's a great business plan, so I don't really buy that that's what's happening. But a lot of people are saying that, and a lot of people... So it's a little conspiracy theory, and I'm not reporting that... I'm not trying to say that's news. I'm not a reporter anyway. Um, I'm, I'm not trying to say that's news or that's fact, but I find it really interesting that so many people are kind of paranoid and negative that they actually believe, and they're creating a little conspiracy theory that Madonna hasn't injured her knee and she's just cancelling these shows and rescheduling these shows strategically purely because of sales and um, just her own vanity and well I want these days off, um, I want more days for the holiday. People are seriously saying things like this and I think it is in the realm of conspiracy theory and it's very insulting to her. I do think she's very narcissistic and arrogant and selfish as a person but I don't think she to the level that she would just flippantly cancel shows just because she feels like it or lie about a, a knee injury or something. She, I think she would just say nothing because I don't think she actually <laughs> care enough to make something up if she wasn't, if she was that vain and narcissistic. I don't think she'd make up an excuse. She'd just cancel the shows and not care. So um, I just wanted to say that she's rescheduled three shows, London and Paris, and it's interesting that fans are turning on her a little bit and there's a cons cons conspiracy theory about her not having an injured knee, which I'm finding entertaining because I don't believe it, but I did just want to comment on it. So I'm just going to leave it there. Um, feel free to like, subscribe, comment. Comments are good. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me what you think. Share your conspiracy theories. They're all fun. Thanks. Bye.